So, <laughs> okay. So the other part of the pattern that connects is that we do know that there is a kind of a structure mm -hmm. and that we can start to see, um, we can start to see patterns. And if we see the uh, reflections of different forms of life in different places. So you might be someone who has a lot of affinity and compassion for dogs, mm. okay? But your husband might drive you crazy and you don't have a lot of compassion for your husband. So it could be that your ability to see the compassion that you have for the dog is a useful tool in looking at the empathy that you could possibly have for your husband. Um, likewise, it's easy for you to care deeply about the well-being of another person, but not so much maybe about a rainforest. Mm. So when you can start to see those structures as being repeated patterns and that, that the living system that is another human being is very much like the living system that is an ecosystem, um, it can help to generate empathy. Yeah, it's like this, this sense of kinship, you know, or you know, the, that we are related also in our own composition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're related, and we're we're in relationship. Yeah. And the unit of survival is the organism in its environment. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so <laughs> we, you know, we have to learn to start to see in that way. Um, so the last year and a half. I've been traveling around the world with this film and like I started to say at the beginning of this interview, I had no idea <laughs> that this was going to happen. Um, honestly, people told me this is a very niche film mm. um, <laughs> and in the end I made it because I needed to make it. I yeah. made it for my own children so that they could get to know their grandfather. But I think somewhere inside I hoped that it would mm. be um, something that would stir conversations and indeed that's what it has been yeah. uh, to the nth degree and still just burning it's been so fun and so I have been screening it all over the world and people write to me and they say I want to see your movie and I write them back and I say great book a theater let's do it, <laughs> let's do it yeah. I never met these people there's no contract <laughs> it's so out of control I need an assistant um, <laughs> people needs an assistant <laughs> yeah. so uh, and it's just sort of exploded into this incredible adventure and yeah. part of the adventure has been all the different groups that I've met along the way so sometimes I screen for groovy eco-artists in Glasgow, or mm. um, designers in Berlin, yeah. or anthropologists in Brazil, or psychotherapists in Rome, mm. or um, communication theorists yeah. in, in whatever, Amsterdam, or yeah. political policy people in Stockholm, yes. or uh, education yeah. people in Toronto. And yeah. what I'm seeing is that everywhere I go, people are asking the same question. Yeah. And what I am seeing that they aren't seeing is this, this business that, that all these different factions, these different pods of ideas, these silos mm -hmm. that we have so carefully cultivated, mm -hmm. um, that education is something different than psychotherapy, is something different than ecology, is something different than uh, design. Okay. Uh, and we're all asking the same questions. Yeah. We're all looking at this point in our development of all of these mm -hmm. different processes, we're, we've come to the place where we're asking the same question, which is, how do we integrate this? Yeah. How does it work? How can we get in sync with the way things naturally come okay. to yeah. order so that we can stop screwing it up? Yeah. And um, that's a really relevant question. And an incredible conversation to be a part of. Yeah. Um, so I've I've had an amazing time, yeah. and uh, I described it once as it's kind of like being in an inside-out kaleidoscope. <laughs> where That's good. Everything that has been fragmented is somehow put back together, yeah. and uh, it's.
it's an enormously rewarding experience and uh, so many questions, so many yeah. beautiful, beautiful questions. Are you optimistic about, because in a certain way we have been suffering of just seeing the things very separate and you know we have the climate, climate crisis, economic crisis, a lot of things that, but we know that also in systemic terms that a crisis is just a change is happening. It's, it's actually happening and we may have to adjust our structures or our own systems to uh, to what the context is asking us to do. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, how are you, how do you see that? How do you see it in the level of uh, 